He looked pale and still. He had bandages on his head and chest. He had bruises and cuts all over his body. She ran to his side and held his hand. She whispered his name, hoping he would open his eyes and smile at her. But he didn't respond. He didn't move. He didn't make a sound. The doctor came in and explained that he had suffered severe injuries to his brain and spine. That he had lost a lot of blood. That he was in a coma. That they had done everything they could, but there was no guarantee that he would wake up. She asked him if there was any hope. He said that miracles could happen, but they were rare. He said that she should prepare herself for the worst. She refused to accept that. She refused to give up on him. She refused to let him go. She stayed by his side, day and night. She talked to him, sang to him, read to him, prayed for him. She told him stories about their past, their present, their future. She told him how much she loved him, how much she needed him, how much she wanted him to come back. She ignored the doctors, the nurses, the visitors, the bills, the news, the world. She focused only on him, on his heartbeat, on his breath, on his soul. She waited for a sign, for a miracle, for a beautiful story. And one day, after six months of waiting, it happened. He opened his eyes.